Alright guys, welcome back to Frugal Homestead. So I've tried to make this video for like two months. It's been killing me. I put the brush cutter on this Wild Badger Power 52cc string trimmer, went out and did some cutting. Twice the GoPro overheated, which it's trying to do again today. Third time I ended up taking, trying to set up my phone and it started to pour down rain. So let me just tell you, this has been a journey. Wild Badger Power hit me up and they said can we send you a weed eater we've seen your videos you're walking around in firewood and knee-high grass let's try and send you our string trimmer you just let us know what you think and we tell everybody right off the bat if it sucks i'm not doing a video i'm just not doing it they said all oh, to be fine we'll send you our brush cutter model and i laughed because every time i see somebody get a brush cutter it's like a 25 cc weed eater they threw a blade on and you hit the littlest bit of grass or brush and it just shuts it down you know or it stops it so I wasn't impressed. I said, let's see, go ahead and send it. We'll see. They sent it and it's a 52 CC shoulder mount string trimmer. It's got the whole harness for it to carry it. It's got an offset handle so you can swing at the waist. I was floored. I was like, this is actually a brush cutter. Now, technically this is a weed eater edger and brush cutter. Now the brush cutter blades are amazing and it will knock down a half inch tree no problem i did hit some red oaks that were about three quarter that took about three wax to knock them down and then we also have some willow and if you guys know willow and elm when these brush cutters hit them it's just a mess but what these are mostly used for around here is like multi-flora it's like the wannabe rose bushes it doesn't have roses it's just a thorny mess and using a brush cutter to knock them out makes life so much easier now this thing came boxed like most of the other weeders that you see at the big box stores with that like incline box set up. But it was so freaking heavy. I just picked it like the day I got it, I didn't even look at the front of the box. I picked it up, I was like, why is this so heavy? They have bricks in this thing. And then I took a look at it and figured out it's a 52cc and you know, all the extra parts and the strapping, you, you realize real quick that this thing had some weight to it. So we unboxed it and started to put it together. Now I have used the still model brush cutter that's got the double handles, you know, balanced at each side. So when I started putting it together, I thought, are we missing a spot or missing a piece? No, it's a hip mount version. So one side shorter than the other. So when you get it and go to put it together, you're not missing a piece. That's how it's supposed to be. And it also has a pad that goes right up against the side of your waist. And then the rest of the weight is supposed to be distributed on your body with the strap setup. Now, these kind of weed eaters are not for everyone. My wife does most of the weed eating around here. She loves this thing, but the fact of the matter is she's just barely over five foot and this thing will fit her and she can use it, but it is very heavy and we have a very big farm. Now it's no heavier than anything else you would buy that's a true brush cutter, but the fact is it weighs probably almost double what her still ultralight does. So she enjoyed running it because of its power, but it's like a giant chainsaw. You can run it, but you can't run it as long as you can a small chainsaw. It gets the job done faster and quicker, but it still will add a layer of fatigue. And that's something you should know if you're interested in a brush cutter. I see so many people go buy these and then they switch out and go buy ultralights. And that's not a bad thing. Having both can get the whole job done. Now, they, say a synthetic oil 50 to 1 mix now what kind of oil you want to use is up to you i have found that the vr racing oil has always worked well for me now i will say this any of these newer two cycle engines are pretty easy to flood so if you have any issues starting these kind of things these chainsaws pull the plug out give it a couple pulls put it back in start over you hit the choke until you hear it fire. That usually takes two on this thing. Then you switch out and go to the half choke setting and you pull until it starts and then just pull the trigger, it'll kick it into full mode. I found five to seven is a sweet spot with this thing, five to seven pulls. Honestly, I have very little complaints about trying to get this thing started. Now, 
it does have a kill switch on the handle and it actually kills it instantly it's not got any delay that's one thing I used to hate about the still I used to run is it had a delay it also has a trigger lock if you want a trigger lock so you don't have to sit there and hold the button all the time that can be very helpful if you're doing brush cutting of a field and you're just going back and forth back and forth hip swinging you don't have to sit there and hold that you can give your hand a break because even though this thing has a specialty way that the aluminum shaft here which is way heavier than most shafts i've dealt with the way the transmission mounts to it it doesn't vibrate as bad as i had anticipated now it claims out at a 10 inch brush cutting radius and an 18 inch string cutter radius i've found that it is a 10 inch blade cutter radius but the string radius I'm getting about 17 inches continuously just because of the way the cutter is it comes with some decent string but if you put a cutter string on there like the ones that are flat or the one that has a little edge on it this thing will chew through anything you can think of now we wanted to get the full feel of this thing so using it here on the farm we got a lot of aggressive stuff but I know a lot of you don't live on like a place with as aggressive land as we do some of you just have backyards and you're looking for a good quality product but at the same time you need to cut out some brush or maybe your garden grows up I think this is a great product for you and to show you that I had it taken over to my son's house and he has more of the suburban home he has a little bit of property but let him go around and just kind of knock some things out he's also a much bigger guy you know he's more like my size and it allows you to see that how it fits a full-size guy now he's never run one of these before so it was kind of awkward for him but he covered the bases of it running it and just went off with it and now actually he's trying to beg us out of it because he really likes it he likes how it moves against his hip and it doesn't hurt his back as a normal weed eater would for running on hours on end now every piece of equipment is going to have pros and cons all right the first thing i'm going to say about the pros is this thing is strong it is heavyweight i mean the shaft on this thing is built way heavier duty than say your normal off the shelf weed eater would be we actually have an ultralight still and this thing is miles stronger built than that now i will say that with strength comes weight so you need to know that that's a con it has some weight build quality and weight it's just something that happens now another pro of this thing's cost now if you wanted a lighter one they do have for 125 dollars i think it is they have a 23 or 25 cc one and it's an ultralight version if it runs half as good as this it's a it's a bargain but for this one it's 170 dollars now some people may say that's kind of high i would say have you shopped for weed eaters lately for good quality brush cutter weed eaters I'd say that price is very low go market it against say a Husqvarna a real brush cutting weed eater is what I'm saying not the 25 cc pole and they put a blade on this is a 52 cc weed eater it is a beast one of the other cons of this though is that when you are regular weed eating you have to get it up to speed so much like when you are using a bigger chainsaw a smaller chainsaw will take off faster whereas a bigger chainsaw has that just that second as it powers up that's what this does so once you get up to speed especially if you use your lock button here then it will just take off you don't have to do anything you just go back and forth back and forth back and forth you won't even have to touch the throttle but there is that little second of a delay most people probably wouldn't even notice it but I do now I think it's perfectly balanced for what it is but a con of it is this is not going to fit every person the same now this has a pad for your hip pads on the shoulders it has everything you need but what I'm gonna say about it is you probably be just as good with a big padded strap or wearing this as a big padded strap just putting both of them over one arm you reach down you click it on and you go to town and you're just done you still got your pad strap you still got your two straps you can go start working 
if you want to do it cross chest style that's fine i'm just telling you that it's not built for everyone it's built for the middle range of everyone for me it was kind of tight on my shoulders because i naturally have bigger shoulders right my son he's a little husky so if you're a normal regular middle sized person it's going to fit you perfect if you're super short you're going to have to adjust it way high to get it on your hip height right because it's such a long implement so it's just an adjustment thing i'm sure it could be figured out and dealt with very easily but i gotta say i had zero faith in this company zero i thought they were going to send us something and it was going to be a big old turd and i was going to have to send it back to him and say guys this isn't even worth running but what came was a quality piece of equipment that runs good what came was a powerful enough system to run the implements they say it can run so that makes it half better than half the brands on the market and at $170 for a product that doesn't lie to me I mean you you sold me right there now it does have a quick connect on here there's other implements you can put on this I don't exactly know how many they have I know they've got a lot of stuff they're getting into now um, some battery stuff and some other things so I definitely plan on talking to them more to find out what runs and what doesn't but what I have realized about this is I'm never gonna hear the end of it from my son he's gonna want to be out there running this thing all the time at his house just because I think for him it's because of the power it gets it done faster I really do I think that's what it is I'm sure a comfort is a, is a part of it but those little lightweight ones when you let your grass grow up like he does all the time Shane he lets his weed eating go to like about every month so the added power of this it just chews right through it just chews down fence lines chews down the edge of the concrete and makes his life much easier so yes I have to say Wild Badger Power has got me sold. I'm hooked, I'm sold. It's a good product, it's a good price, and they do what they say. Now, with that said, and I don't know why you wouldn't have, come on guys, how many times do I have to say it? Go down, hit subscribe, join the family, turn on notifications, make sure you hit the like button, let us know what you think. What kind of weed eater do you use? Are you in the market for a new one? Or have you ever run an actual brush cutter double handle like this before? And what would you think of it? Because I know some people absolutely hate them. And other people swear by them. And with that said, guys, I will see you in the next one. Now I just got to figure out how to get my wife and my son to do all the weed eating. Once I get that figured out, I'll let you guys know too.